Justin Taylor here, kmetradio.org. We are here in Louisville, Kentucky for the Elite Eight. And uh, I am joined by my Office of Student Media colleagues, one Mr. Kevin Hall, the uh, Met Report and the Roadrunner Review, his uh, co-host, Peter Aragon, and one Miss Angel Foster from the Metropolitan. Let's talk a little bit of basketball team. Our guys made it here last year, same spot. How important is that relative to this trip? And what is the one thing that you guys think Coach Clark is telling his guys that he wants them to remember from last season's trip? Well, what Coach Clark wants to take away is you got experience on this team. Coming back from last year, you have four seniors. You have Cooper, uh, JMO, Demetrius Miller, and uh, January. So you got experience. They know exactly what that feeling was to lose that game and stuff and what they did wrong in that game. So they've been here to lead eight. They went through the struggle, and now it's time just to take those pieces and get them into the right spot to make sure you go on to that Final Four game. I think what he's going to uh, be telling his team is not anything different than what he's been telling them with every game. It's one game at a time. Last year was last year. This year is this year. Different group of guys. A um, little bit of the same makeup, but um, I think if they just keep doing what they've been doing, big defense and um, you know making the shots on offense. I got to go with basically com combination of you guys' answers. I mean, you got experience, four players, five of you count McCarron have already been to the Elite Eight and so they know what's expected at this level of the competition. They know what to go out there and just play their hardest and Coach Clark he's basically just me saying to them this isn't going to be like any other game just go out there do what you've been doing the entire season and we can take this one home. All right next question what do you guys deem the most important factors for this game let's get two apiece from each of you. For me, the key factors in this game is hitting those free throws at the line. They struggled in the regional tournament and going down the stretch a little bit, hitting those free throws. Dig it through it, but they need to hit those down the stretch. And then secondly, just control the boards. They can easily control the boards in this one. It's something they pride themselves in. And they can get to the offensive rebound and get those boards like J-Mo and K can do. They'll have no problem winning this one. First of all, defense. They pride themselves on defense. They're a big defensive team. I think if um, they can stretch uh, Franklin Pierce's offense, keep them on the outside, it doesn't look like their percentage shots are high from the outside, and I think that might be a key factor. Mine's more of one, but it has two subcategories. It's controlling the middle. I mean, get points in the paint and rebounding. If you can control the middle, got your big guys out there, Kay and Morse just pushing people around, grabbing those offensive and defensive boards, getting points in the paint, maybe outscore them in the paint, maybe like six points, then it's going to be a very contributing factor to victory for Metro. All right, last question. Sticking with the two theme in honor of our two consecutive regional championships, who are the two players that we're going to be talking to at the end of the game? For me, it's got to be the two seniors, Demetrius Miller and Jonathan Morris, those starting part of the starting five. So they're huge, they're big in there, and jmo has been here for four years. We've seen him mature so much the past four years. So he's going to be huge in that, and people are going to want to talk to him, see what it's feeling like this senior year. And then Miller, he loves these big time moments. He said it last year, he said it this year. He loves those big shots in those big situations, making those key shots for this team. So those two are going to have to be huge, and that's why they're going to be there at the press conference, having us talk to them and figure out what exactly they did in the game to help this team win. Okay, first of all, I'd have to say Brandon Jefferson. Um, he's going to have to, he has a big job of uh, stopping their top scorer. Um, and then my second one would be uh, Mitch McCarron, a sophomore. He's really had a big season this year. Um, I think if everything's clicking for him um, when they play against Franklin Pierce, I, I think that uh, he should be in the press room letting us know what's going on out there. Well, like you said, Peter, I think Morse is going to be a no-brainer. I mean, he's been there all four years, like you said. He's going to be asked to control the paint, like I said, is one of the key factors. And if he can control the paint, can uh, spell out a win for Metro. And then other person, it's going to be one of the guards, Miller, Jefferson, or McCarron. I got to lean towards Miller or Jefferson just because Jefferson, like you said, Angela, is going to be a lot asked of him guarding Jean-Guillaume. And then Miller, he's senior starter, two years here at Metro. And... Like you said, Peter, he loves the championship moments, and he wants to step up in those big moments and prove that he's one of the best on this team. Well, there you have it. Three experts giving you the goods, getting you ready. Ravens taking on our Metro State Roadrunners, 12 noon Eastern time, 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. You can watch the game at NCAA.com. You should also listen live at kmetradio.org. Well, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you there.